Alright, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you a quick little tutorial. This is an updated tutorial. It's on a glitch. Now, I did a video about this glitch over on PS3, but I didn't have a mic, so I just had to use, you know, titles and everything. Like, I had to use words, gross. Like, I had to put words up on the screen. I had to do whatever you want to call it. But now I can actually use my voice, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain this a little bit better so it's not as confusing. And this is the best way to farm Pyro Pete, in my opinion. It is a glitch. Um, so there's a few things I would recommend having for this. Technically, you don't need any of this stuff, but I would recommend getting it before because it makes farming him a lot easier. Because he is an invincible boss, so if you don't have this, it can take a lot longer. But all right. So, the gear I will be using is a Grog Nozzle, Double Penetrating Unkempt Herald, I will be using a Shock Stormfront Grenade, and then I will be using a B-Shield. Now, the reason that I don't have the B-Shield or uh, Grenade Mod equipped yet is because, for one, if he hits me and I have the B-Shield, B-Shield has really low capacity, so he could kill me. So, I'm going to be using this shield until we actually get up into the glitch. And the gr the glitch requires grenade jumping, so uh, we don't want to have that equipped yet. So basically, once you come down to his little lair here, you're just going to come over, spawn him in. It'll cost you 8 Iridium, and he'll spawn in. Immediately turn around and run over to these two little pillars, throw down a grenade, and uh, grenade jump up onto this ledge. Now he might uh, try to jump up here just like that, or he might lose aggro and walk away like he's doing right now. But... Uh, you're basically just going to want to, like, you can shoot at him while you're up here or whatever, but you're basically just going to want to get him up on this ledge with you. Which, it can take a little bit of time, but once he's up here, he cannot get down. So, it basically makes it so it's, it's just really easy to kill him. So, we're going to see if I can get him up here. Uh, which might take a little bit, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cut. Which, right there, you have to be careful from that, too. That was a close one. Uh, he will do the ground slam attack, and when he does that, you have to hide behind one of these pillars, or else you'll get damaged and have to jump down. But, um, alright. So, this is basically what you're gonna do, and I will be right back when he gets up here. Alright, so it would look like we've gotten him up in here. Um,. So once he's up in here, you're basically uh, just going to get him aggroed on you so that he runs this way a little bit. So we're just going to see if we can get him aggroed here. Maybe he doesn't want to move. But uh, I don't think he wants to move. Oh, there he goes. But... I mean, I'm pretty sure he's up there, so once he's up there, you're just going to go ahead and jump down. And the reason for the Grog Nozzle is I would recommend having a Slag weapon. Just because, you know, Slag is going to help you kill this guy a lot faster. Which, I was a noob move, but you're basically just then going to equip your Stormfront or just any grenade you want to use. I'm using the Stormfront to get through his shield, plus my Stormfront does a shitload of damage. So I'm going to be using that, and then we're going to put on our B shield... And we're going to make sure he's slagged up nice and good. And then we're going to throw some of these at him. He has to be in a good position, but once he gets in a good position, you can see what, what's going to be happening to him here. Um, this is an invincible boss, so this is like an invincible boss made easy right here. He is not very really hard at all once you do that. And then you, there you go. You basically got him dead. And uh, a lot of his loot will go up there, but all you have to do for that is take off your grenade mod and simply grenade jump back up there. So it's pretty easy way to, uh, you know, get loot and farm him for Seraph Crystals and, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Which he actually can drop some of the best shields in the game, which he actually dropped one of them right here. I wish this was a better version, but sadly it's not. My shield is actually a little bit better. But, yeah, that's basically going to be the easiest way to kill Pyro Pete. It's the best farming way, in my opinion. I know there's other people that do, you know, like speed kills. They could probably kill him way faster than that without using glitches. But that's just the easiest way for me. And I have no clue if somebody has found this glitch before me. I have known this glitch... 
ever since I had this DLC back in PS3 days, so I'd probably say at least a year I've known this DLC. Or not this DLC, this uh, glitch. Fucking, wow, that was a fail, but I've known this glitch for around a year, so I don't know if somebody has found it before me or not, but I did discover this on my own just because I got bored and tried to grenade jump up into certain areas, but... If I'm not the original discoverer of this, if somebody has found this, like, if you found this glitch longer than a year ago, then you are probably the original finder, but I have no clue. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next glitch video.